Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie, today. I am so excited for today's video. I have a holiday Trader Joe's haul slash taste test for you slash really for me. I may have blacked out last week when I went to Trader Joe's. I went multiple times and I may have lost all self-control. I want to say I picked up about 80% of their holiday line. Not every single item is out yet, but out of all the items that they do have at Trader Joe's thus far, I think I have just about 80% of the items. I'm like hella pregnant right now, doing like two weeks. So I don't even know if I can pick this up because it is quite heavy, but let's see. Oh, it's not that bad. I put it all into this little basket and this is not even the whole of it. I actually have some refrigerator items and some freezer items as well. Inside of the basket are all of the non-perishable items. So we're just going to do a little good old fashioned haul slash taste test today. I don't know if I will taste test every single item because there is just an excessive amount of items here. I did just want to throw out like two little things before we jump on in. First and foremost, if you have a Trader Joe's near you, run, don't walk. Pretty much every single one of the employers there was saying that all these items are just flying off of the shelves. So if you see any of these items that you like and you want them for yourself and you do have a Trader Joe's near you, I would suggest going sooner than later because they are telling everybody that their holiday line is just like lying off of the shelves a lot of these items are tried and true items for me that i loved last year and usually i would buy like two or three of them but i was trying to be like a good samaritan and i only purchased one of each of them because i knew how limited that they were on all of these items and i didn't want to be that person buying like three or four of them while other people couldn't get any because they are completely sold out the second thing there is an aggressive amount of sweet items in here. I would say that this haul is like at least 75% sweet and maybe 25% savory. So obviously one human cannot eat all of these items. Something that I'm really, really excited about for all of these items. I'm filming this on November 20th. So around December 20th, just about a month later, whatever I have left over, I'm actually really excited to make like little dessert charcuterie boards for the holidays. So we go to my husband's side of the family. We go to my side of the family. We do something at home as well. So I'm excited with all of these like leftover items that we haven't eaten or used or just loved over the next span of a month i plan on making cute little dessert charcuterie boards so i'll put like little videos and pictures of that up on instagram now stop rambling allison because we're gonna be here for the long haul no pun intended let's get on into the taste test okay i have my basket off to the side and the first thing that we're going to share slash taste test are these chocolate covered i don't know how to pronounce this Leb Kushin cookies, soft gingerbread with nuts and spices. I'm assuming this is like a German styled cookie. Let's open on up. They look very, very soft and I love how they are just like dipped in chocolate. This is what they look like. Ooh, I'm here for this right now. The back looks very pale, but that chocolate though. Okay, here we go. Cheers to the first item in this haul slash taste test. Whoa, okay. So the bottom is very pale. But when you bite in, it's like a soft gingerbread cookie. They weren't lying. Like that's an actual soft gingerbread cookie. Ooh, I don't know what this bottom wafer is. I don't like that bottom wafer, but the gingerbread and the chocolate, it tastes like Christmas. This is like the perfect item to start with because it tastes like Christmas. I don't know if my camera focused on that. So let's get like a true depiction of what this looks like. Ooh, I like this. I actually like this a lot. I'm going to have to practice a lot of self-control in this video because I have so many items. I'm gonna try to take like one bite of each of these items so I can really get a true sense of all the items inside of this haul. But 
that was a really really good way to start this video off the next item that i picked out i've never tried before but i hear it is like one of the top 10 holiday items to get at trader joe's it's on almost every single person's top 10 list of holiday items from trader joe's it is the trader joe's candy cane green tea decaffeinated love me some peppermint love me some green tea this just sounds like it would be a match made in heaven honestly camera i cannot move my body every single time to focus all of these items with this big old belly so please just do your job i'm very excited about this and i just love the packaging the packaging is so so cute okay moving on another item that i can't test right now but it is just so cute it was one of those items that was like too cute to pass up it is the trader joe's it's sedimentary my dear cookies these are layers of sugar brown sugar peanut butter chips candy coated chocolate drops oats and coffee graham cracker crumbs and flour you just have to add butter egg and water so you're getting this massive 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 mason jar and you can see all the layers and this is what it looks like right in the front Please, camera, I can't do this every single time. There we go. <gasps> I'm so excited about this. This reminds me of like a Christmas style monster cookie. Monster cookies are where you basically have like every and all item and you just kind of throw all the ingredients together and create something magical. I'm really, really excited about that. Let's move on to something next that I can taste. I don't think that I got these last year. I will link last year's trader joe's holiday haul and taste test video in the description and i'll also link my trader joe's playlist if you guys want to check out any of those videos i don't think that i tried this out last year i think i got the chocolate covered version of this but i didn't try the actual candy cane jojo's if you guys are unfamiliar jojo's are trader joe's version of oreos they also have it this way on the back horizontal and vertical so i'm pretty pumped to try this out and I'm really pumped to make that little like dessert charcuterie board with these because who doesn't love an Oreo? Especially a peppermint Oreo. I will say I like Oreos a lot more than I like JoJo's, but still all the same. This is what it looks like. You have your little Oreo, your little JoJo. The Halloween ones had cute little like pumpkins on them. I thought that these would have like little snowflakes. It looks like... I don't know it's just like a little design let's open it up so i can show you what it looks like inside you do get those little peppermint chips and now let's test it out that is very pungent <laughs> in the peppermint department i don't hate that what's hat has to come off my hair is driving me nuts right now I don't hate that at all. I actually like those a lot. I did get the pumpkin ones for fall. I didn't like those at all. Well, I like them a little bit, but those are way better. And those are actually way more like reminiscent of an Oreo than the pumpkin version. Oh, I would give these like two thumbs up. I'm not doing like a rating scale for all of these, but if I was to rate these, I would definitely give these like a 10 out of 10. These definitely get the job done. Those. We're so good. I'm also very self-conscious right now. I've been wearing beanies on top of my head because I am very, very close to having this baby. And I know there's lots of research out there. You can dye your hair when you're pregnant. I just choose not to dye my hair when I am pregnant. And I have so many grays at the root of my head. So I've just been like living in beanies and hats lately until I have this baby and then I can dye my hair and just make it all flow with one color. But that hat was just not working for me. So please don't focus on this. Just focus on the food from Trader Joe's. Let's move on to the next item. It is a savory item. It is the Something in Friends crackers, a traditional Southern Italian assortment. I'm pretty sure these are like those olive oil crackers and those olive oil biscuits, which I love so, so much. I cannot wait to try these. I love putting these on actual charcuterie boards, not like dessert charcuterie boards. And fun fact, one of the number one things that I want after I have this baby is an Italian grinder and a charcuterie board. When you're pregnant, you're not supposed to have like those meats and cheeses like lunch meats and like soft cheeses so i cannot wait to just have a good old-fashioned 
the charcuterie board and these are going to come in clutch so let's grab like a little circular one this is what they look like these remind me so so much of my grandmother like so so much mm. Mm -hmm. oh wow i'm into those they have all different shapes in here pretty sure they're all the same flavor they have like all the same oh my god that was so good they have like all the same flavor notes but i'm gonna do another one mm. Mm. 100 out of 10 i know i said i'm not rating them 100 out of 10 for those just reminds me of childhood they're like flaky and buttery olive oily and they're also like kind of crisp but soft at the same time wow <laughs> i love those i love those so so much okay let's move on now to two items that i'm so excited for the first one being the dark chocolate stars and the second one being the mini dark chocolate mint stars now i need to correct myself if i am wrong I've definitely tried these before. Love these. These are a staple in my house around the holidays. But I don't think I ever tried the mint version. And I remember watching a ton of hauls last year for people doing like Trader Joe's hauls. And that was also in like their top 10, maybe even top five favorite holiday items. So I cannot wait to try those. I've tried these again a billion times before. They are just so good. I have to get this is one of the items i would usually get like two or three boxes of again i was trying to be a good samaritan with all of like these shipping delays to make sure that everybody got to experience the deliciousness that is the trader joe's dark chocolate stars these are dark chocolate covered shortbread cookies and they are just so good listen to this crisp mm. there's nothing to say about these they are just oh they are fantastic they're every bit as good as you think that they would be now i want to try these i can't remember if i've tried these these are minty chocolate shortbread cookies enrobed in dark chocolate from what i hear and from what i gather these taste like a little mini version of a thin mint cookie like those like girl scout cookies that you can get around girl scout season oh they are like super mini they're so tiny oh my god it's so cute all right i just broke that one so let me get you one that's not broken they're all kind of like clustered together right oh, here we go oh my god they're so tiny look at how tiny that is this is a one bite cookie for sure oh my god they're so cute okay here we go mm -hmm. mm. oh it does taste like a thin mint girl scout cookie that's really good i still think that these are better these are my favorite forever and always okay that was the star cookie genre of today's video let's move on into another cookie and then we'll try to find something else savory i don't think i have a lot of savory items but the next sweet item the mini gingerbread people these are gingerbread cookies with fudge white icing Ooh. I just love all the packaging. Trader Joe's has the cutest packaging ever. I love it so, so, so much. Let's open this up. I did get these last year. They're good. I wouldn't say that they're great. I use these more for like when I'm baking or if I'm doing like hot chocolate or whatever and I'll put them on top of the whipped cream. So you can see the little gingerbread guy right here. And on the back you have your white fudge icing. confused in a good way i remember not really like loving those a ton last year i actually love those this year i think that those are actually right on target with those little mint stars or dark chocolate stars i'm actually the whole thing that was really good they're really good those are really good okay 
I mean, get those. Those are really good. Did I try those last year? What am I thinking of? Those are, <coughs> those are exceptionally good. Very nice spice to them. Crispy, that little bit of icing just kind of like is subtle. Yeah, <coughs> went down the wrong way. Yeah, pretty sweet. I'm very much into that. Okay, I need to get a drink because it went down the wrong way. Hold on. <coughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, got myself a little glass, and we're going to test out our first drink of today's haul. I got a couple of drinks, so I'll spread them out throughout the entirety of today's video. The first one being the Winter Punch. This is a festive beverage blend of apple, black currant, and lemon juices from concentrate infused with holiday spices and orange peel. I remember this being one of my favorite items from last year. I don't really remember exactly what it tastes like, but I remember it having just like that warm, cozy, spicy taste to it. And when I saw it at Trader Joe's this time around, I was like, I have to get that. I remember I loved it. So I already shook it up a little bit. Let's test it out. We're just gonna do like a tiny little shot of this. Here we go, cheers. It's just as good as last year. I really don't know how to explain this. <laughs> it's gonna sound so weird. It tastes like you're drinking potpourri. If you've ever tried potpourri. I've never tried potpourri, but I can expect potpourri to taste like this punch, but in a good way. I know that's a terrible, terrible analogy. However, it's really, really good. It just like, when it goes down your throat, I kind of get that feeling of smelling potpourri. But I would recommend, I would recommend very, very highly. All right, let's move on to a savory item. This might be one of the only other savory items that I have in today's video. This is the Nuts About Rosemary Mix. The nuts, the rosemary, the crunch, the flavor, it's all here in this can. It's a slightly salty, subtle sweet mix of almonds, cashews, hazelnuts, pecans, accentuated with the robust flavor of rosemary. Grab a handful or several. I love how minimal this packaging is and I do love me some delicious spiced nuts. So let's open on up, give you a little look of what it looks like inside without dropping all of them. And I really don't know which one I'm gonna try. We'll try an almond to start with. Mmm. Ooh. Mm. If you like rosemary and you like nuts, match made in heaven. These are really good. This is another great item to put in like a little bowl on a charcuterie board. It's just such a perfect snackable snack. You just kind of like grab and go. Mmm. Trader Joe's doing it all this year. They are doing it all. Okay, we're gonna move on to some items that I cannot test. These are items that I have to either cook or just items that I have to throw into milk, for example. Sorry, it's still going down. The hot chocolate sticks. These are dark chocolate stir into hot milk. I thought that these were so cute. So this is just what the package looks like. But let me open it up and show you exactly what each of them looks like. Basically, you just heat up some milk and then you throw this into the milk and boom, you have yourself some hot chocolate. So they're just like little sticks. This is the stick of the hot chocolate and you would just heat up some milk and again, throw it in, stir, boom, hot chocolate. And it looks like we're getting like maybe 10 of these. We're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight of these. This is what it looks like inside. Love this idea. I didn't see this last year. I don't know if this was a thing last year, this is perfect to just have in your pantry because we have officially entered hot chocolate season and we have officially entered all things cozy season. The next thing that I cannot test out right now, but I will be testing out soon, all of these like type of items I typically will review on my Instagram when I actually try them. This one is the gingerbread cake and cookie mix with crystallized ginger pieces. So you can either use this to make a cake Oh, well, you can use this to make a cookie. I should have got two of these so I could have done one as cookies and one as cake. But knowing me, I will probably just use this to either, I don't know, I kind of want to make gingerbread cupcakes to be honest with you. But I also love gingerbread cookies. It's a toss up, very excited for this item. And then the next item 
that is a need to bake item the chocolate peppermint loaf and baking kit also makes great cookies oh, i wish i got two of these i should have got two of both of those so i could have done cakes cookies cakes cookies but this is what it looks like i'm not the biggest chocolate cake person but i'm a huge peppermint and chocolate flavor combination person so i think that that's gonna go really really well and the last thing that i'm not going to test right now because i have to bake it be still my heart <laughs> these are my absolute favorite these were like some of my favorites from last year and i i did get two of these i'm not gonna lie there was a ton of them on the shelves and when i went the second time there were still a ton of them so i didn't feel bad but i actually already baked these up once and mm, they're so good i don't know if you've ever tried the pumpkin ver the pumpkin version of these they're trash they're like absolute garbage it's one of the worst items in my personal opinion that trader joe's has ever come up with these little like canister of baked cookies that you have to bake at home the pumpkin ones are miserable so i saw these and i was like oh they're gonna be just as bad i got these last year and i made them and i was like that was one of the best homemade cookies i've ever made in my entire life so i got them again this year i already used one of the little canisters the little cylinders and i have this one for the upcoming month it is just their peppermint chocolate chunk cookie mix if i can recommend anything from this video i recommend this right here okay we're gonna move on now to an item that i was very disappointed with and usually i'm not disappointed in many trader joe's items this is the old-fashioned handmade peppermint bark a colorful confection with a candy cane complexion peppermint infused dark chocolate white truffle fudge atop it pure perfection no objection the packaging 10 out of 10. love the packaging love the little tin that you are getting if you look on the back they give you a little picture of what the bark looks like nice skinny little bark it's very breakable bark you have that chocolate layer you have the white chocolate layer you have the peppermint little crumble on top i was so disappointed with this let me show you what this looks like you might be looking at this and be like oh what's wrong with that it is so large it is so thick it's actually to the point that it's kind of like hard to even break i tried to like bite into this and i felt like i was going to break my teeth i don't know about you i'm a huge like thin bark person like not too thin but thin enough that you can just like bite into it and kind of eat it leisurely this is not something that you can eat leisurely like look at the thickness of this bark i just thought that it was way too big i flipped this over originally i was like oh perfect it looks like little bark pieces that are going to be all broken up and it just reminds me of like I don't know like baking chocolate basically so i'm not gonna like get rid of this or throw it away i'm thinking i will just crush it up and use it in like baking cookies or whatever but i was just i was wildly disappointed with this one this was also ten dollars which is pretty expensive for trader joe's standards i was just disappointed with that one that is just me personally i just wish it was a little thinner it is really hard to even just like bite into but let's move on to another thing that we're going to test the scandinavian tidings soft and chewy gummy candies and these come in holiday shapes i really purchased these for my son my son loves these they are very good out of all the gummies that i've had these are one of the better ones but he just loves these we usually give him like one or two of these after dinner look how cute it's a little christmas tree oh my gosh so cute i love it okay cheers they're like firm, but also very chewy. Mmm. Very tasty. Very tasty indeed. Ooh, it's very good. So you're going to get Christmas trees, you're going to get little ornaments, and you're also going to get white little stars. Oh my gosh, those are good. He's going to love these. He's going to be so excited to see that I got these for him. Mmm. Oh, they're different flavors too. Each color is a different flavor. That's awesome. Okay, I have a couple more things inside of this portion, and then I'll get the refrigerated items, and then I'll also get the freezer items. A lot of the freezer items I can't test out because it's like soft cheeses, like breeze and stuff like that, and I can't have that while I am pregnant, but I'll be saving those for 
post-pregnancy, which is gonna be pretty much any day now. I'm so excited for this. I could not get this last year. They were sold out completely when I went. This is the Hot Cocoa Snowman. <gasps> I finally got one, I'm so excited. So it's just like this massive hot chocolate bomb shaped like a snowman. Only thing I'm a little not happy about, it is white chocolate. Obviously they want to make a snowman. I'm not a huge white chocolate fan, so I'm hoping that the cocoa inside is like a chocolate cocoa, not like a white cocoa. But it's just so cute. I wanted one of these so bad. I watched so many Trader Joe's holiday hauls last year and almost everybody was able to get one of these but I couldn't get them and I just love it. Okay, let's move on to drinks. Two drinks that I purchased. The first one being the sparkling cranberry ginger beverage. I already tested this one out. I drank one already and y'all, <laughs> these things are no joke. They are so good. This is what the can looks like. This is the one that I tested out unreal unreal it is so good it is a sparkling beverage it's not a seltzer so at first i thought it was just like a seltzer and then i looked at the back and it does have like ingredients in it it does have sugar so i'll tell you in this next one like how much sugar there's 22 grams of sugar in here 10 milligrams of sodium 25 grams carbohydrates so on and so forth so this one is the cranberry ginger one i did already test and i will attest to that it was lovely the next one my friend marielle posted about and she was like i'm so happy that they got these back she loved them she was talking about it on her story so the second trip that i made to trader joe's i wanted to see if they had these it's the honey crisp apple juice one and they did have them so i picked them up and i'll tell you which one i like more so this is oh it's so cute sparkling honey crisp apple juice beverage cute 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 this is like a nice little transition from fall to winter drink as well all right let's try it out wow these are so good Oh my god, I love these. I actually think I like this cranberry one a little bit more. But this one is a super, super close second. Wow, that was mm, yum. Trader Joe's. They just think they, they know what they're doing. They know what they do, and they do it well. I have a couple more items inside of here. The next one was one of my favorite items from last year. It is the dark chocolate sea salt caramels. I fangirled so hard over these last year. Last year when there wasn't like a shipping shortage, I actually got these every single time that I went there. This one is a much larger one. Last year I got it in like a four pack. I don't even know how to like open this up. I got it in like a four pack. So every single time that I went to Trader Joe's, I would pick up a new one because again, the self-control is at an all time low around the holidays. And I would just like go through them like candy because they actually are candy. So let me open it up and share with you exactly what it looks like. Probably won't taste this as well. Oh. They're so beautiful. I won't taste test this one because I plan on bringing this to a party and I don't want like one of them to be missing. But oh, that sea salt on top, it is just delicious. One of the best sea salt caramels I've ever had in my entire life times a hundred. All right, two more items. Next is the dark chocolate orange flavored with other natural flavors. These are 20 break apart segments. Have you ever had a little dark chocolate orange before? They're so much fun. Come on, Kayla, you can do it. There you go, you did it. So if you've never had one of these before, it's just like this giant solid, solid chocolate and it looks like an orange. You're supposed to like whack it on a table or a hard surface and then all of like the little pieces will break apart and then you're left with little like chocolate orange slices. How am I going to do this? So if I open it up over here, you can see exactly what it looks like. Let's see if I can just like there we go <laughs> a bunch of them broke off and they're just tiny little slices and this one obviously looks just like an orange they all look just like oranges and if you look it's a really nice size too it's not too thick it's not too thin mm. 
Mmm. Really good flavor. Very, very, very good flavor. My camera shut off, so I don't even know what I was last saying before it shut off, but this is the perfect little snackable size snack. Grab one, go, and I love that you can just put it together and it is still like non-perishable. Also, it is dark chocolate, and who knew dark chocolate and orange go so, so well together. They appear really well together. This one, I don't know. It is the Protein Bar Holiday Crisp. I don't know if we need holiday flavored protein bars, but I guess I'm here for it. I mean, I did pick it up. I'm gonna take a little bite of this. Oh, it's like chocolate covered. All right, so this is what it looks like. It looks like a Wonka bar. If you've ever watched Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, it looks like one of those Wonka bars that they sell when you're trying to look for the golden ticket. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this one. I hate it. Nope. Has a very strong proteiny taste. You know like RX bars? cliff bars they are like protein bars but you don't get that like aggressive powdery protein taste this one it tastes like you're eating a protein bar i know it is a protein bar and you are eating a protein bar but like the really good protein bars that you can get they don't taste like protein bars they just taste like really good my favorite ones are the rx bars i don't like that one at all okay the last thing that is inside of this basket and then i will go grab the perishable items I love this so much. The pistachio pomegranate crisps, a crispy, savory, and sweet cracker to complement cheeses, spreads, dips, and toppings. If you've never had Trader Joe's crisps before, what are you doing with your life? They are one of the best items, in my opinion, that Trader Joe's offers. They are just heavenly. I usually go for the purple box which is i can't even remember off the top of my head it's like fig and something else i don't know this is their holiday version i love the fall version as well oh my god these are gonna like pop and just like go everywhere um hi somebody help me please all right there we go let's get one of these out i think they're gonna taste really good right now but these are obviously very much enhanced when you add like a dip on them or a spread or a cheese my go-to is adding a little bit of jam and then a chunk of cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. One of my favorite ones from them. Go. Go off Trader Joe's. Go off. Okay, I wanted to share with you this last non-perishable item before we jump on into the two refrigerated items that I have. And then I think like four or five freezer items. I forgot to share this one in the little basket. This is the Trader Joe's Gingerbread House Kit Authentic German Hexen House with candy and cookie decorations. This is what it looks like. You can make a really cute little A-frame house. This is adorable. We're gonna do this tonight with my son. He loves all things gingerbread house making but i am just noticing right now it says this gingerbread house is not complete and will require the equivalent of one egg white and lemon juice or white vinegar to complete does that mean i need to like bake all the pieces i'll be pissed <laughs> i thought that these were like pre-made maybe you just have to like put them together oh no it is okay it is pre-made oh my god i was like do i have to actually bake the house <laughs> Because that's not going to be fun with a toddler. Okay, it does come with the actual pieces and then you get the iced sugar. So this is what you need like the egg white for. Okay, that's completely fine. I thought I actually had to like make a gingerbread house. I do not. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So I'll put some pictures on my Instagram and I'll save it to a highlight. But you're getting all sorts of little candies with this. You're getting a little icing bag. You're getting some non leaves, and you are getting your icing sugar eggnog flavored yogurt i just don't like eggnog at all i don't know why i thought it would be a good idea to pick this up 
but I really wanted to try out like the whole entirety of their line and I do love yogurt I don't like straight up eggnog but I do like eggnog flavored things so maybe I will like this that's very very yellow look at that right there I don't know maybe I will surprise myself I have my son's little construction vehicle spoon here let's give it a go let's see how it tastes actually really good that's actually delicious <laughs> I am 50% scared of this next item 50% excited for this next item this next item is the Onog non-dairy oat beverage eggnog flavored oat drink that was a mouthful they had this last year However, last year it was an almond milk base. This year it is an oat milk base. And I don't know. I have some reservations. I love oat milk. I don't love eggnog. I do like eggnog flavored things. I don't like drinkable eggnog, but it's not actually eggnog. So we will see. I'm gonna try this out two ways. I'm gonna try it out just as a beverage. And then I'm going to try it out the way that I'm really excited for, the way that I intend to use it, to froth it up and put it over coffee. So I love all of their little like oat beverages that they have. They have a lot of seasonal flavors and then they also have some flavors that are just year round. And typically I will just use my frother. I'll froth it up and then I will pour it on top of some iced coffee. I will not sweeten my iced coffee. I just let the oat beverage do all the sweetening for itself. So let's shake it up and just try it out. The thing I'm nervous about with this one is oat beverages are very, very thick. And I don't know how I feel about drinking a very thick eggnog flavored oat beverage. Oh yeah, that's real thick. Oh. Ew, 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 ew. Wow, that is thick and disgusting. <laughs> drinking it just like that. I'm gonna froth it up now. I would not recommend drinking it just as is. I would recommend frothing it up. Oat milk froths so, so well. So let's aerate this, get some air in there. way 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 better if you froth it and you pour it on top of coffee that adds a really nice sweetening aspect to the coffee i am getting a hint of that eggnog flavor however it's not so pungent and doesn't just like punch you in the face the way it does if you drink it as is i would not recommend drinking it as is would highly highly recommend frothing it and pouring it on top of coffee and drinking it like that it definitely elevates the entire experience i'll link that frother in the description below it is my number one used kitchen tool this is delicious it is so much better when you froth it and you put it in coffee so good happy dance for the freezer items i love trader joe's freezer items so hard i didn't get a ton of items i have three items that i will just share with you and i will make in the future and test on instagram one of them being the item that i am the most excited about i wanted these so badly last year but just like the snowman hot cocoa bombs sold out every time i went whether i went at eight o'clock a.m two o'clock in the afternoon eight o'clock p.m 
always sold out i was able to snag a box this time it is the fried olive bites fried olive bites i heard that these are epic and i cannot wait to try them out next up is the herbalicious cheesy bites made with mozzarella parmesan cream cheese and a blend of garlic and herbs i did get these last year and i loved them and i'm super pumped because this time around we actually have an air fryer we purchased an air fryer since last year and i just think that these are going to be so good in the air fryer they're gonna be like crispy on the outside and gooey on the inside and the last one that i'm going to be sharing with you without testing is the item that i'm the most excited about i miss brie so much brie is one of those cheeses that they say to like stay away from when you are pregnant and i just love brie and i love brie around the holidays so this is the next item it is the ready to bake brie and croute brie cheese wrapped in a crust what I will typically do with these is bake it and then top it with like a nice jam oh, and then dip some like crispy bread in it. It's a whole mood. So the last two items that I will be sharing, this is the Jojo ice cream candy cane flavor and the Hold the Cone mini ice cream cones peppermint flavor. I don't think I loved these last year. I think this was one of the items that I was like, hmm. It's all right. This is what it looks like. I'll give you a little package update. And then I will share with you the cone. Something that I've noticed about Trader Joe's seasonal flavors, it's kind of like, don't fix something that's not broken. Their original ones are so good. I don't personally love the seasonal ones, like the pumpkin ones, they're good. They're just not great. I think the best ones are really their vanilla flavor, their chocolate flavor, and their chocolate chip flavor. So this is what it looks like. I have a chocolate cone, the peppermint ice cream in the center, and then the chocolate dip. Let's give it a go. There's nothing wrong with these. They're really good. I actually like them more than I think I liked them last year. I think last year I wasn't like a huge fan of these. Pregnancy is weird. It like completely, completely turns your taste buds around. I actually like these a lot. I just think that their original flavors are just like the ones to be reckoned with. They are so, so good. And let's end this video on hopefully a very high note. I remember last year this being like one of my absolute favorites, if not my absolute favorite. It is the Candy Cane Jojo Ice Cream. Peppermint and vanilla ice cream swirled with fudge and chunks of Candy Cane Jojo cookies. Love me. Uh, this ice cream pint and the pint itself is like a perfect size this will probably last all winter i don't really have like sundays a lot i'll usually just get like a little scoop of ice cream here and there so let me get my spoon that has coffee all over it and we're gonna try this out <laughs> went down the wrong way again i just want to show you that swirl before we jump on into the taste test look at that swirl she's beauty and she is grace okay here we go it's like soft ice cream. Ooh, look at that scoop. I got like a little bit of everything. Here we go. It was my favorite last year for a reason. Oh my God. That chocolate swirl is so thick. It's like very ganache. It's not like a chocolate syrup. It's like thick chocolate ganache. You get the texture from the peppermint Jojo's. You get the smoothness from that delicious ice cream. Oh my God, I love you. I love you so hard. This was a very, very successful Trader Joe's holiday haul and taste test in my eyes. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. If I missed any items you think I need to try at Trader Joe's, please drop them in the comments below. Any of like your favorite holiday Trader Joe's items that you think that I definitely need to snag next time that I go there because there will be a next time and that next time will probably be next week, the self-control. We really need to work on it. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate all of your love and support. Here on my channel, it means the absolute world to me. 
I hope that you're all having a wonderful, beautiful, festive, and merry start to your holiday season. And I really look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye, friends.